what you've done for me. Thank you, Lord. Hey everyone, Matt here, Home Farm Ideas, and today I wanted to share with you guys a new project that I'm working on. Uh, it's installing some zip grow towers and um, the company did send these out to me and I really want to put them to the test uh, in my aquaponic system you can use them in uh, hydroponic or aquaponic systems and um, so there's some things that I wanted to uh, you know check these things out for one would be to grow you know strawberries I'm probably gonna do like strawberry towers or something like that um, green onions or chives um, Nate story he did this uh, video and um, it has basically like all these chives and who doesn't like chives with eggs right for my chickens back there so um, anyways so I'm gonna throw these things up so that would be one of the reasons why I want to get these things install installed um, the other reason was is that uh, the actual um, inserts in there because there's like these the tower I'll show you them in a bit but there's like these inside the towers there's this uh, there's this like media in there and it really helps with actually filtration of your system like um, and growing bacteria and all these different things um, which also helps with filtration and conversion rates um, so I mean you're converting nitrates into nitrites and from nitrites to nitrates and plants can take up the nutrients as um, when it turns into nitrates okay so these towers they basically help with that process as well um, you can also put worms in the tower red wigglers or whatever that I get from my Uncle Jim's worm farm uh, guys and basically you put them in the towers and they eat up any excess muck and stuff and that can build up inside the uh, the towers as well because you know you know I got them in my grow beds and everything so um, so I want to kind of share with you guys an idea of how I'm gonna put these things up and maybe you guys have some ideas, um, but uh, yeah, let's go for it. I'm just gonna show you guys what I got so far and see what you guys think. So uh, let's get to that, all right? So as some of you may or may not know, we've been getting like crazy rainstorms um, and hopefully I get this footage <laughs> processed before uh, the rains kind of let up and you're like, what are you talking about? It's been a month or whatever. No, but anyways, so um, this is my aquaponic system. I have this over it because um, I usually have that up like that, but I really want to cover the grow beds in uh, the wood like I did over there with those grow beds. Um, that's coming soon. It's just, I'm trying to work out all the nooks and crannies of the system and basically how I'm going to do everything. Um, got some stuff that's working, stuff that isn't working. Um, this barrel um, in the bottom there, you can't see, but um, this actually is really helping with my sediment. Um, now I wanted to get this set up. And I know I'm going to talk about the towers here in a second, but I wanted to get this set up because this comes from my fish tank, okay? And all the water gets sucked from the bottom and down this tube, and then it and then it swirls in here, and kind of goes down a little bit. And so as it swirls, all the heavy stuff settles on the bottom, and the water rises and goes into this pipe, and down into my sump tank, which is there, okay? So installing this has definitely helped with sediment or fish waste and stuff. Um, like large chunks of it. Okay. Now the reason why I wanted to get this set up and why it's taking so long to get the tower set up is because I don't want a bunch of fish poop getting caught in my tinier drip lines. Uh, and I'll show you that in a bit as well, but here's the idea. Okay. So obviously I'm going to get all this cleaned up and nice and neat when this happens. But so I have these uh, treated posts, and usually I don't buy treated wood, but I bought it because this is has is going to have no contact with uh, my water. Okay. So, anyways, um, I already realized, or I realized that at the house that I'm renting, and yeah, I'm renting, <laughs> and I'm doing this all while I'm renting. Okay. So there's already these post things installed. Okay. And so basically, I'm going to put these this lumber here I'm gonna put it up and this is these are six feet tall and these towers are five feet tall okay and so I'm basically gonna put them up uh, let me get a better view of this I'm basically gonna put up the six foot towers right and then I'm gonna put the four zip grow towers that I have here I'm gonna put those across over here right and there's gonna obviously be another one right there this this piece of wood over there and then I'm gonna have a beam go across, and it's probably gonna be metal, that way I know it can take the weight. Um, I see a lot of people, or I see some people, they've actually put PVC across things like this, and then they hung up their tower on there, and even with one tower, with that media in there getting wet, 
uh, it's gonna it's gonna get heavy, okay? But then when fish waste builds up in there, not crazy amounts of it, but just a little, it's gonna get even heavier. And then when the plant grows, obviously it's gonna get really heavy. And so PVC is definitely not a good idea. Um, you can do like electrical conduit, um, which I've seen Nate do in, in a lot of his videos. And um, you can also, there's all kinds of different, but you, you kinda wanna stick with metal or wood um, just because they're gonna be solid. Wood's not gonna last forever though. So um, I'm trying to do something that's gonna last me a little while at least and look look a little professional. So anyway, so I'm gonna be putting those towers up and hanging them here, right? Now, when I get that done, I need to have something to wear um, drainage. So I'm basically gonna take this back area of this wall and I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put a rain gutter here, okay? All the way down to the other side. And then I'm gonna have it come around, okay? And then I'm gonna have it go directly into my sump. Uh, that's the idea, of course, okay? But all of it has to be, you know, kind of running a little downhill, okay? All the way to the sump here. And um, so, yeah, I mean, that's, that's how I'm gonna fill it. And then let me grab the other part so I can show you kind of how I'm gonna plumb it. Okay, so down in my sump tank, there's a pump. And if you watch some of my past videos, it's right about here in the sump tank, you know, which is right back there. Um, so that hose or that um, pump, it pumps up to a T fitting right about here. Okay, then water goes this way, up and into my uh, fish tank there. So it just recirculates the water, right? Changing out the water in the tank. I mean, it's really important. So and getting all the fish poop out of it, okay? So then the other half of the tea, it comes off right here and then it goes over there and bam, it goes into my grow beds, right? And then eventually it'll come across here. Actually, I did another another uh, tea right here where uh, the pipe goes under the ground, underground right here. And then see, it comes up over there, bam. <laughs> so I'll have water connected to those. I can't wait to get those connected. It's just gonna be a lot of work. Uh, this will not be a lot of work, so I'm getting it, getting her done. Okay, so I'm gonna have to have some kind of splitter or something other than a T, um, which I think I found that there's PVC that basically goes all kinds of different directions. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna plumb into that that way, and then I found this fitting here. This is gonna go into my. Um, I have to have a little slip to fit over this end and a slip to fit over the pipe that's gonna be coming out of that, uh, out, of the, uh, out of the sump tank as well. So, and then glue those, and then basically this is actually uh, a cap. There's supposed to be a cap on the end, kinda of like this, and it just cuts off the water, so it's like an end cap almost, okay? But this hose here, this hose, it, it basically, <clears throat> let me put it down right here. It basically, um, the end of it actually, See that end? The end of that actually pushes into here, okay? And if you look in there, I'm sure it's kind of hard to see, but if you look in there, oh, there we go. See that little lip? See how it's like, almost like a concave, or not concave, like a tooth almost, okay? So when you push this on there, and then you try to pull it out, it won't come out, okay? So that is what I'm gonna be using to, um, to get the water from my sump and the PVC pipe all connected. Okay, and then from there, once these these things are you know uh, up and up in the air. Sorry about this camera, man. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna have the line going up the wood, and and uh, it's gonna be black, pretty inconspicuous, and um, then I'm gonna have it going across that top part, and I'm gonna have an end cap right on the other end, and all the water will be able to drip down into these, okay? And the rain gutter obviously is gonna take it back into the system. So it's, very, there you go, it's, it's gonna be a closed, or it's gonna be a loop system, basically running through these, filtering the water at the same time um, as growing plants, okay? So uh, that's about it. Um, so I'm just sharing the idea with you um, before I actually do the video on it um, because I wanted to kind of spark a conversation about this stuff. Um, I'm really excited to get these zip grow towers uh, going. Um, Nate and all them over there, they sent it to me. Chris sent it to me, and um, or sent them to me. And I've just been sitting on them for a long time, and it's just because like my work, my work has just been crazy, um, and I have to 
I have to be organized in my work so that I can have time for my projects and my hobbies. So um, I know they understand because they, they're, they're taking on huge projects right now. Um, if you guys haven't already subscribed to their channel, uh, I'll put all the links and everything you need in the description below. Um, if you ever have any questions about aquaponics or hydroponics, uh, they're definitely the people that I would highly recommend. Them and Rob, uh, Rob's Bob, um, he's from Australia, and uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys that are into aquaponics, you've seen uh, both of these people. Um, there's a lot, of, a lot of great information out there, but those two uh, sources, I've really um, just had a lot of wisdom coming from them. Uh, water chemistry is just not my thing either, man. It's just really difficult, but I think I'm starting to nail it. I mean, my veggies over there are doing good. Uh, but every time I say I'm starting to nail it, it starts going bad. So anyways, um, check out their channel and check out their towers. And uh, I look forward to seeing how these things go. Uh, it's going to be so awesome seeing all the strawberries and stuff growing right there. And, um, and I'm, you know, I was worried about it casting too much of a shadow back here, but it won't. It won't. Um, I mean, those are relatively small. The sun will just go right around them, and I'll still get plenty of sun back there. Um, and I just think it's going to look really cool with the pillars. So, anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. Um, if you guys um, could, give me a thumbs up if, if you like the video. And uh, suggestions, give me them. I need them, you guys. I'm not a pro. I'm just a dude in a backyard. So, uh, And I, um, I look forward to uh, doing more videos about these towers. So... Anyway, like always, you guys, God bless you and peace. Check out all the links here, all the videos, and subscribe to my channel and uh, check out our network of, of channels. So I got stuff coming up on those too. So anyway, God bless. Peace.